Too bad for you, Mario. You're too late. What's this madness? Look well. In the coffin behind me sleeps the legendary treasure. This tomb holds the soul of that ancient demon, the wielder of destruction. It will possess Peach's body and bring me and bring life the most powerful witch in millennia. Possess Peach. Mario, I'm so sorry. Sending you that map caused all this trouble, didn't it? With the power of the demon, I will rule this pathetic world. The time has come at last. This world will be mine. Now arise, arise, my shadow queen! Uh, er, what, hmm, uh, what's going on? Brother? The sky hits. What's all this? The sky. It's turning dark. Who has called me back? It is I, my Shadow Queen. You. Very well. Where's the vessel? It is here! This girl who lies before you. Yes, a fine vessel. Now. What was that? Something terrible has happened. No. Could that dark power have truly been awakened? No, this is unthinkable. Witness my rebirth. My soul is not fully accustomed to this vessel. But I will learn to control this body soon enough. P Peach! Yes, my glorious witch queen. Destroy these impudent fools! 
Who are you that would command me? What sort of being are you? Huh? What do you mean? I thought you were bound to obey the one who awoke you. Enough of this prattle! Do as I say! Now! Or I will send you back to the depths! You would do to learn your proper place, slave. No one commands me. My powers are not fully yet restored. But, they will come in time. What is all this? I don't understand, Mario! You have returned to us! Ah, Beldum. What ages have passed? So, you are the one truly responsible for calling me back, yes? Yes, my queen! I searched for a pure maiden that you might inhabit. And as I did, I spread the rumor of the great treasure. Then I led the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties admirably. I am not worthy, my queen. And who are these beings that stand before me? Yes, they do not appear to possess power, but they may be of use. Will you become my faithful servants? I will not harm you. My, we mustn't serve evil. You must resist, old boy. Yes, you are obedient. Good, my pet. Now you are mine. You will serve me for eternity. And so the Shadow Queen engulfed the world with her foul magic. For Mario, for Peach, and for the world it was... The best fucking thing ever. The bad part is having to read through all that dialogue again. See you in a year. I see, so you defy me. How amusing. Then you wretched fools, you will learn the error of your ways! There's only like three lines of dialogue between that and the fucking fight, are you kidding me? Good lord. You are foolish to oppose me. Yes, and that foolishness will have to be punished. I know Scarlet is watching over me from the other side. I know it, old boy! If I don't send this queen packing, my girl wouldn't be most dis most displeased, hmm? Mario, let's send this shadow shady demon back to the darkness. Oh my god, that's a lot of health. <laughs> so, here is a thing that everybody fucking loves about this game. Which I do too. You're fighting Peach. Peach is your final boss. Which, alright, good, no defense card. Oh, fuck you all the same, though, game. But, you know, it's so cool. And, without, like, spoiling it too much, the final boss, in my opinion, to Super Paper Mario is just as fucking awesome as this. And, like, Thousand Year Door, like, this game has done so much different from the, you know, standard Mario formula that I feel like that's the reason why most people like it. And it's just a well-told story. It's full of fucking witty dialogue, and it's just... It's great. It's fucking awesome as hell, and I love it. I'm really glad I got the game. Like, I can't express how much I appreciate Fabi that I really appreciate and value this game. And I know a lot of people also... Attack is boosted. Um, a lot of people are like, Oh, we haven't had a good Paper Mario since. Like, I haven't played Sticker Star, but I do feel like Sticker Star is kind of charming. But I can agree that the whole... Um, fucking battling is pointless thing does bother me as well. Wait, hold on, hold on. Bye, Bobbery! That was close. But I don't hate Sticker Star. I don't mind um, Super Paper Mario. But I will agree that this is the best Paper Mario. And I'm going to tie it with uh, 64 because I like 64 as well. 64 just has like a charming nostalgia while this is just like fucking creative crazy genius shit I guess that's the best way I can think to put it 
I also love how, like, the entire thing was actually run by the Shadow Sirens, who trick the x knots who trick Mario, and it's cool how, like, it all flows together. Like, it's so great. I can't stress how much, how cool I just think it all is. Like, it's such a well-done game. And it's a non-conventional boss. You still get to fight Bowser, because, you know, Bowser's, like, the important one. Which, I, you know what? It's mildly unrelated, but I think I would deal with Donkey Kong better if it treated it probably close, close to this. So you are not weak. Maybe you have less, maybe you are less useless than you appear. This body is unfamiliar to me. Yes, too unfamiliar. Let me assume my true form and show you my real power. In this form, your attacks are like those of a child to me. You are lucky. You will perish with the honor of having seen true terror and power. Oh, fuck off. Oh, there was, I was in the middle of a sentence, but I forgot what it was. Uh, I do know what happens here, though. Yeah. Everything you do is scripted to uh, not do damage, so it's pretty much pointless, but I gotta be able to tough it out. Is that your idea of an attack? Foolish. Oh, I think what I was trying to say was, uh, I would hate the newer Donkey Kong Country games less if it was like, wow, that was frightening. If it still did like K. Rule, but you got the extra bosses as a thing too, you know, cause they, to me, what? A daisy passed out. To me, K. Rule is like the definitive boss of Donkey Kong. I don't want to use Sweet Feast, though. What do we use? Do we use our Ultra? Is that a good idea? You know what? No, I got a better idea. Let's do this. Dry Trim. <laughs> and then our Mushroom. So this way we get, like, a tiny boost, but, yeah. Now, I'm not sure if it does or doesn't, because I know it's... I know what's going on. I don't know how long this takes. But certain events happen. <laughs> now taste my power. Alright, well, hey, at least I guarded that. That's what's good. If I was any good at super guarding, I could just be avoiding damage altogether. Oh my god, I'm dead! Are you fucking with me? Okay, just for proof's sake, I figured it would only be fair to uh, go back and meet you here. So, here's what I'm going to do in a change of strategy. We're going to go ahead... No. First, we want to swap to Vivian. And then we're going to have Vivian do her veil for us. And that will protect us, because, like, I don't feel terrible about, you know, getting myself killed when the boss is unbeatable. Like, that's kind of a thing that's... In my opinion, a pretty reasonable thing to have happen. Shit. Alright, I resist. Eh, you're healing yourself, you piece of shit. Still don't like that, though. What are you doing? That is pain. Uh, but here is what I'm thinking. If we do our super appeal, right? Which, that'll help us out tremendously. And then we just veil until eventually we're, uh okay again, then maybe we'll have a chance at living. Because this is our best way to stall for time, and I figured appeal would be a good way to, uh, you know, fill up that star meter a little bit. Like, come on, get to the part where I'm able to attack you! We're wasting time! Like, this has been, what, five, six, seven, ten turns? Where we've just sat around? I'm beginning to think it's kind of required. Oh, <sighs> just attack. Do that, okay? More dialogue? No. This is stupid, man. That was bad. But it apparently, uh... What a troublesome little pest you are! Yeah. When's the part where I can fucking fight back? Really? Is this the part? Yes, I have recovered from any slight damage you may have caused. Really, you've been doing that. And now I will punish you for your resistance. Um, Mario, what do we do? This could be it for us. Bitch, I'm hiding. 
I will ask you again, will you serve me? If so, I will forgive you for this. No way, no way! Very well. Then you will perish. What? What is this? The crystal stars? Oh! What's this shiny thing? There! It's the crystal star! But I thought Mario had this thing! I wonder, kids, if this is related to the sky getting all dark and whatnot. Hmm, you may be right, but I don't know. But if anything's happened to my coops and Mario. Oh dear. Coops, you're okay, right? You promised me you'd come back okay. Whoa, the crystal star! What in the world? What's that doing here? This is very mysterious. Yes, very mysterious that. Snap out of it, Elder. Brother, Mario's in trouble. That's what the Crystal Star is here to tell us. I just know it! What? Could it be? Hey, you're right, Petunia. I can hear, I can hear it. The Crystal Star is speaking to us. It's telling us that Mario is fighting to save the world and he's in deep trouble. No, we're kidding. Mario, Flurry, come on, don't give up! Yeah, you can do it, guys! Alice. I mean, Mario. <clears throat> I know you're fighting away right now for us, for all of us. This crystal star has told us your last brave stand. Maybe we can do. Maybe we can't do much to help you, but we're thinking of you. All our wishes are for you, for your victory. Oh yeah, yeah! Feel it. Rock out, Gonzalez. Rock! Listen to me, Gonzalez. Anybody who's beat me is not allowed to lose. That's right, you of star. Tell that shrimp beats us never give in. We're sending all of our strength, G-Man. You feeling the love, my man? Gonzalez! Don't you give up, Mario. Yeah, never give in. Mario, you may feel like it's going rough. The tides have shifted against you. But if you lose, the world will be plunged into darkness forever. Please, don't give in. Vivian was her name, right? I'm a bit worried about that girl. She was with Mario. She seems so innocent. It'll be fine, all of you. Mario will never give up. Mario will stand true. I... I still remember how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. We must have faith in him. We must believe. That light will return to our world. Mario, don't give up! Come on, you big pups! I can't bloom and air you! Once more! Admiral Barbary, show him what a real sea bomb's made of, mate!
I do hope they're all okay. Do not fear, my dear. Luigi is my finest pupil. I'm not quite sure he'll prevail. I'm quite sure he'll prevail. <laughs> well, I worry nonetheless. I so hope there's a future in which my little bug can grow and prosper. Well then, I suppose all we can do is give him a rousing cheer, hmm? Yes, certainly. I am quite sure he could hear us through the power of this crystal. Darn right, Dad. Go, Gonzale, let's go get him. Huh? M Mario? Gonzalez? Not Luigi? We are, as we are assembled, Mayor. Good work, my comrades. Now let us do it. Mario, you can do it. Is that... Can you hear them, Mario? So many voices. There. They're all sending us their wishes and positive energy. That's amazing. What? What are these vile voices? Mario, look at that! What is this light? Oh. Oh. Oh! Mario. That voice. Princess Peach? Mario, I... What? You were a wretched little girl. You disobey me. Mario, take... Take the last of my power. What? What's this? I feel full of energy. You brat! Obey me, girl! Farewell, Mario. I believe in you. Peach! Urgh! Very cunning, princess! But you will not undo me! Know me as your queen! 